Assalamu alaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Nur Muhammad from NM Watch and we are back with another 5 best straps for this uh, awesome watch which is the uh, Mas Irukanji a micro brand from Australia. So um Matt, thank you very much Matt from MAS Matthew and Son uh, from Mass Watches for providing this <laughs> watch for me to review I think yeah, somewhere in around 2019 just before all hell broke loose and we are under the pandemic situation since then and now we are going forward to the endemic phase of the virus right so let's not talk about the virus but I am <laughs> going to talk about five strap options that I think is good for you if you happen, happen to have this particular watch or something similar to this so here are just my suggestion i hope you like it right so if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please do so and like this video if you find it useful because that really really helps the channel right so first up is this um what do you call this silicon rally style strap from blue shark straps.com so um i've been using this watch on this particular strap for quite some time already so i think because i think the blue and uh, this uh, baby blue colorway looks really really nice with this um what do you call this blue sunburst blue dial of this mass irukanji and yeah it is of course we have this dual tone color up is the no, on the top side is the navy blue and the bottom side is this what do you call this baby blue or is it tiffany blue <laughs> i'm not really sure but of course at the back we have this 20 millimeters uh quick release pin with uh, luck with with quick release pin and a blue shark logo stamp at the back right so again similar uh, stamping at the back and we have two uh, movable keeper here with this uh, blue shark sign logo up top right so oh before i completely forget the dimensions for this particular watch is 42 millimeters in diameter 40 I think it was 46 minutes I have to get that I will of course put the specification here and a 14 millimeters in thickness because of that super dome uh, single dome sapphire crystal with the 20 millimeters slug right so 20 millimeters slug making it easy for you to source for aftermarket straps such as this particular this particular strap right so before we put on the we put the watch on wrist let's do a quick wrist watch check today I'm wearing another watch based on a jellyfish right so if this one is based on the irukanji this one is based on the aquaria right so let's just see if i pronounce that correct so that is the <laughs> the the um the what do you call it the jellyfish i mentioned there so it is called the like a aquaria aquaria jellyfish right so <laughs> Full review coming soon for this particular place, right? So let's put on the Mas Irukanji jellyfish <laughs> watch on my wrist. So as you can see here, I am on the second hole. This strap is basically meant for guys who have larger wrists, right? So if you guys have 6.5 inch wrist, you are still okay. But if you have smaller wrist than that, uh, you know what? <laughs> you might go for, you might um, need to go for another strap. So tons of materials left so maybe people with up to 8.5 inch wrist can still use this particular strap but still i think it is a nice option for this uh, mass irukanji so this is strap number one and let's go to strap number two all right so because this one is using a quick release pin so that makes my job much 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 easier and we where we can just swap it out and see what are the next option that I have for you guys. So next up is a an FKM rubber strap from I think I've got this from Julong on AliExpress, I think. So and this one is in this uh, navy blue colorway. Right, so less striking color than the than the blue shark, but still because this is using an FKM rubber. So you can see that there is no lint whatsoever stuck to this particular strap so while this one because it is in silicone you can see tons of <laughs> lint stuck there oh i forgot to mention that this one has some curve to it making it making using it making your, the watch sits firmly on your wrist same pattern here on this particular strap so i just love this design <laughs> choice that these guys made and i'm not really sure what to call this strap but yeah still oh my i think there's a name for it i don't remember but yeah still an interesting pattern because we instead of the, the holes in this one is uh, you know what it's a bit the 
the pitch the distance this the distance between the holes are a bit nearer so making it uh, fits better on your wrist and we have a big hole at the end of the strap so why do you need that you might ask because on the keeper right so we have two keepers here this is a smaller keeper and this is the bigger keeper so on the underside of this keeper we have this tab here so that when you put it on the wrist that part will go inside this hole so how cool is that so of course unsigned um, buckle here but a pretty substantial buckle nonetheless not the cheaper cheaper one and we have again 20 millimeters in that in in width right so let me show you how it looks on my 6.75 inch wrist again i am on this second holes people with uh, maybe up to eight inch wrist can use this still use this particular strap the party trick is that you when you put it there so you don't really you don't if you don't want to have those flappy thing flappy flappy thing going on there so you should just put the keeper up until that so that makes it secure and there's no flappy flappy situation going on right so this is strap number two and let's go to strap number three which is of course another strap with a quick release spin <laughs> i just love this quick release spins guys so yep so let's just go to the next one which is a strap that is using a sail cloth material right so of course the sail cloth material is uh, this one is from i want a strap dot com com a company based in singapore so this is their version through their version 3 where they make it a lot slimmer compared to their previous um, version oh come on right so that is it so it's yeah it's a bit thinner but yeah still i prefer this uh, thinner strap compared to a thicker strap because if it is thick then it's quite difficult to uh, you know pen to your wrist and we have just put another part here and then you are good to go so fix keeper here um, adjustable keeper here and we have that i want a strap dot com logo here which is the hourglass i think so finishing is brush on top and the we have a simple um polish finishing at this side making it really really cool looks cool in my opinion right so let's put it on the wrist oh they come with this uh of course black sail cloth material with tons of um, stitching option i think they have of course black and black on white black on uh green the, the stitching i mean uh, green red yellow silver um i don't remember but yeah tons of different option available for you right so check that out guys sell cloth strap which is of course waterproof right so yeah there we have it this is strap number three let's go to strap number four which is a bracelet from strapcoat.com so i've gone for this uh what do you call this fully brush i think this is this are fully brush uh, finishing on the uh on the surface of the bracelet so i've had this for quite some time already maybe five years i think so ever since i've I, i'm into this um rabbit hole so i've been buying this uh <laughs> this i've had this uh mesh bracelet right so fully adjustable keeper here uh, maybe you know, we don't call it keeper right so you call this adjuster with a flip lock here and we have a simple um hook system here and there's no strap code logo <laughs> whatsoever but i can assure you that i've got this from strap code right so flip there and lock there and you are good to go and trust me uh, any mesh bracelet will make a watch looks absolutely classy and it looks cool in my in my opinion and for me it is totally worth the money right so this is strap the bracelet number four let's go to the last strap for today which is this awesome natural rubber strap from borealis.com or was it borealiswatch.com i can't really remember but yeah still i've been using this strap natural rubber strap for very very long time already and as you can see there's nothing deteriorate or not <laughs> nothing got damaged after a few years of use and um, yeah and the, the the biggest thing the biggest advantage for me uh, for this particular particular strap is of course the natural double that they use and the holes right so you can see that the holes the diff the, the distance or pitch between the holes are close together so that is why you're not going to have that um, too big or too tight uh, too loose or too tight situation when you put it on your wrist and i just love this uh, isoframe style design right so we have this big holes up top so that your um, your sweat will easily 
um, evaporate through these holes right so we have two movable keeper here and a huge buckle but not that big until it annoys you and at the back we have this groove right so when we have this groove and you put it tight on your wrist it will not flop around um, for this particular watch it is still okay because it is quite small but if you have a bigger watch that tends to flop around when you use it on the on a rubber strap those grooves will help okay so i am on the fourth hole so you can see that there are tons of materials left so people with maybe up to 8.5 inch wrist can still use this particular strap the only caveat of this <laughs> strap is that one is the uh a borealis is a company based in portugal so getting them in from port sending them uh, from portugal to your to your country might be a bit of you know it might take a while the price is not that bad though so at about last time i checked it was 35 us dollars but this thing always sold out so you might want to check and send them an email when it is this will be in stock but yeah for the money 35 dollars you can't go wrong so there you have it guys five best straps for this um mas irukanji watch an awesome dive watch and basically this is the first ever uh, watch that uh, M Mass, Mass Watches has produced and thank you very much again Matt for providing me this watch right so yeah there you have you guys liked what I what you see here today so please give me a big thumbs up and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one please go ahead and subscribe to my channel until next time I'll see you soon stay safe and bye bye